Well, hey there, welcome to this lesson, and we are talking about bending strings today. So let's talk a little bit about the technique behind bending. When I'm bending the strings of guitar, I want to use my middle finger and my ring finger, and I'll kind of hook my thumb over the top and kind of give me some sort of leverage to bend against. And then my first finger, I kind of use that just to kind of push the other strings out of the way. So that's what I tend to do when I'm bending with my ring finger. Still wearing this pattern again. And if I'm bending with my first finger, kind of turn. It's kind of almost like a turning. And that gets into also um, vibrato, which is something else. But we're bending on the first finger with when we bend with the first finger, we're going to kind of pull down a little bit. And then when I'm bending like these strings, I don't typically bend the, the wound string. I tend to pull down. It's too thick to push up. The reason why I push up on the first three strings is a lot of times I'll be bending and I want to go to the string below it. If I bend down, kind of in the way of that string. So if I push away from it and then play, then I have better success. All right, so let's talk about this. We're doing a quarter step bend. So quarter step bend is is in between. So this is if I this is a half step bend. And then a whole step bend is out here. That's a full step bend. So if you see a quarter, it's in between these frets, or in between two of the frets. So if it's on the fifth fret, it might be something like that. So a quarter step is kind of not quite in tune, but anyhow, let's get into these bending examples. So get your PDF out, and we will start with the first one there. So example number one. We got quarter step bin. So I'm got a metronome right here. Also in this bin, the measure one, we're doing a bin and release. So when you see that note go up and it comes back down, you hold that, let that note ring out. All right. Let's start measure one, quarter step bin. Here we go. Three, bin and release, measure one. All right, now let's go to measure two, and it's a bend release on the second string. Here we go. Two, three, four. Again. All right, those are quarter step bends, and now, and so this one right here on measure three is just a bend, and we stop it. We don't come back down. All right, measure three, we are not doing a bend release. We're just, can we stop the note? And when I'm doing that, I'm stopping the note when I put my third finger down. So, anyways, here we go. Two, three, four. Three, four. Three. All right, that was measure three. Now measure four. Measure four goes like this. And it is a, measure four is a course that bend with a stop. Two, three, four. All right, now we go to measure five, and that now we're getting into the half step bend. So it's a bend release, but we're going up to the one fret higher. So half step is one fret higher. Anyways, here we go. One, two, three, four. Again. All right, so that was measure Five. Now we're into measure six. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Begin. One more time. 
All right, now measure seven. Here we go, measure seven. Two, three, four. Again. I'm gonna swing it. One more time, swung. All right, measure eight. So measure eight, we've got this triplet. So triplet is just three notes in one beat. Measure eight with the triplet. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Again. One more time. Half step. All right, now we're doing the full step bends. We're at measure nine. Full step bend, here we go. Measure nine, full step bend. Three, four. Little swung. Again. All right, measure 10, we're gonna do with a swing. Here we go, measure 10 with swung. Two, three, four. Again. Swung. Alright, so measure 11. Measure 11 is a full step bend. Alright, I'm picking all downs on this one. One, two, measure 11, three, four. Again, measure 11. So I'm bending here. Full step bend. All right, measure 12. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Again, measure 12. One more time. Measure 12 swung. one all right that's it for the bending and let me know if you have any questions or comments down below go ahead and put them in there and the next lesson will be into major thirds with a combination of everything we've learned up to this point so all the best and thanks for going through this course you are awesome take care